After looking at this year's game, we decided that the best robot would be able to hold almost all the game pieces and shoot them all over at the end. However, after seeing the size of these, we decided that it wouldn't really be possible. We then worked on making three potential classes that our robot could be. A dumper would be a heavier, bigger robot that could hold multiple objects, however it would be a challenge to get these over to the two-point zone. A shooter would be a nimble, small robot that could easily and quickly shoot objects over. And finally, a defense bot would be like a wall bot or something that would be only focused on defense with maybe pushing capabilities. We decided to try out the shooter idea. We then moved on to our motor configuration. We decided to dedicate six motors to the drive base, despite there being any really real pushing in the game, because we wanted a very, very quick and nimble robot. Four motor shooter would be sufficient enough to launch cubes quickly, which leaves us with two extra motors or pneumatics that we could use later if we needed them for anything. Our first prototype was a two-stage intake system that had an upper basket catapult. This would allow multiple objects to be stored while driving. The elevated platform also meant that less rubber bands had to be used in order to shoot a further distance. Our second prototype was a much smaller and lighter one-stage catapult. The downside to this is that you can't really drive when holding multiple objects. We decided to go with this prototype because of its simplicity. By putting the rubber bands on one side of the shooter, and by launching the cubes off of the other, we could use the same rubber bands to lift as we do to shoot. That means that there needs to be an arm coming out the back that would lift separate from the catapult that shoots. Because the lift is going out of the back of the robot, we had to test clearance to see if it would be a problem while shooting. We spent an hour testing intake designs because it is such a crucial part of the robot. We're going to be picking up so many objects in the game that it needs to do it efficiently. We tested both a standoff type and a zip tie type intake and decided to go with the standoff type. We moved the spacing around a little bit to see what would work best. We decided to go with the simple, lightweight, six wheel, one to 2.4 gear ratio drive base. On the second day, we finally got a prototyping. This is one star with five rubber bands. We worked on tuning the shot angle just to clear the bar in order to hit stars mounted on it. This is our spacing on day two. It was way too fast with speed motors, and it ended up twisting axles like crazy. We learned our lesson, made the spacing a little bit tighter, and made the gear ratio lower. This is still speed motors. We found that the trick to building the slip gear was that when the intake was flush, it wouldn't release, but when it pushed a little bit harder into the ground, it would release. That ended up being 14 teeth for us. As we started to take dimensions for the lifting floor bar, we realized that the top bar needs to be shorter in order for it to lift and reach the pole while folding in. You can see here how much the rubber bands help the lift and how much the lift really angles out to grab the top of the pipe. The hook is made with just a 3x1 and a standoff. Because the robot had a tendency to jump up when shooting, all the weight was put as far forward as possible. Our final amount of eight rubber bands allowed us to easily shoot one star from anywhere on the court or two stars or a cube from further up on the court. Our deploy solution is pretty interesting. The intake locks with this system and the lift locks to the shooting arm with two polycarb hooks. A series of intelligent limit switches located on the tower here on the left and on the back side allow the user to have presets at resting position, firing, and lifting, making it easy to drive. The result of the project was a nimble, quick scoring robot that could confidently hang in beginning games.